Hey, thank you for tuning in. My name is Lucretia Renee Church. Here I discuss topics from a biblical perspective within three minutes. I've got a lot to share with you today, so let's go. I love theater. And in 2004, Mel Gibson released one of the most descriptive versions of the biblical life of Jesus that I have ever seen in my life called The Passion of the Christ. I was doing okay until they came to the part in the movie where Jesus um, had been beaten and then he lay there limp and bloody in his mother's arms on the Via Della Rosa. And you could see the pain in both of their eyes because both of them knew that there was nothing at that time that they could do for him. And at that moment, Jesus was so exhausted and he looked like he just couldn't go any further. Then all of a sudden, he looks at his mother, he breathes in deeply, he strengthens himself and he says, behold, mother. I make all things new. What did he want her to behold? What did he want her to see? I believe that he wanted her to see his finish and her start. The point of me sharing this scene is, is simply this. Starting something is equally as important as finishing it. So be mindful if you're a procrastinator, in which I had to fight that one. If you're a procrastinator, know that your procrastination can cause an assassination. If you're ready to start, let's discuss a few things. Okay, first, when you start something, start with finishing in mind. Make sure that it's something that God has told you to do. That way, when you start it, you'll have the grace to finish it. Find your focus. Find your focus and stay focused. Commit to something and stay committed to it, no matter how tough it gets, and things will get tough. Fight to start and fight to finish. Most importantly, pray and know that God, he's the one that began this good work in you and he will finish it. He is a start and finish God. Lastly, finish the same way you started by faith. What determines whether or not we'll start and we'll finish is our desire for what we want. If our goal is to please God who set us on this course, we will set our hearts and keep forward. Hebrews 12 and 2 says that we can look to Jesus, the initiator and the perfecter of our faith, because he started and finished focusing on the joy ahead of him, enduring the cross. So like Jesus did with his mother, I want to encourage you today. Behold, there is a prize on the other side of your obedience. So get started and finish. Huge thanks to Bishop Sean Cooper and Pastor Teresa Cooper. Hashtag don't quit. Hashtag not gonna quit. Come on, let's start it. Come on, let's finish it. See you next time on 3 Minute Matters.